Chapter 9 of Charles Swindle's book Why God is called Marching Orders. He starts this chapter by giving us 1 Peter 5 verse 6. Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Swindle writes about many great battles in history, but he reminds us that in this verse by Peter, the initial command is surprising. It is not attack, it is humble yourselves. And then he reminds us that we need to understand it isn't human strategy based on human strength that requires human giftedness, which will lead to human accomplishment. But on the contrary, the Lord's marching orders are, humble yourselves. He says the word picture includes God's almighty outstretched hand reaching across this universe, including this tiny little planet and including his church, which he brought into existence by his power and for his purpose. When we humble ourselves under the hand of God, it means that we don't get our way. It is not about getting what I want. When I humble myself under the Master's hand, I humble myself to the Master. It is all about doing what He wishes. It is what He planned what matters. And this is not the message that society is giving us. But God says, humble yourself under His mighty hand, that He may exalt you at the proper time. Swindle writes that we must keep in mind that God, our loving, caring, faithful, holy and just God, has shaped a plan that will lead to victory, hope, peace and joy. And all of that takes shape under His mighty hand as we surrender our worlds to His. It happens under His hand. We must get this. We must clearly understand this, that under His hand we give up what we want. We surrender our wishes and desires and we fully accept His plan. And in the process He will be glorified. And if rewards come our way, He says they will come but they will come at the proper time because God's timing is always right. And this might sound scary to some of us, but then Swindle reminds us to cast all our anxiety on Him, on Jesus. Yes, all of it. And when we do, we'll have a lot less struggle releasing our will to Him. Then we can march into battle with far greater confidence and calm. What he suggests here is a totally different lifestyle. It will touch every part of your world. And he says in the final analysis, it will lead to a 100% investment in God. Maybe some people don't want to invest their whole lives. But then he writes, if you don't want to, then you don't really want Christ. Then you are really just looking for an easy way out. Submitting yourself to God is a serious business. Peter tells us to be sober, to be on the alert, to watch out and to follow our marching orders. And the first order is very clear, humble yourself. And if we do so, when the time comes in the battle, God will lift us up to conquer the enemy. So I also want to encourage you, you have received and accepted your marching orders. Now humble yourself and find the courage to move out into this world. Let us ask God to help us. Lord, thank you for every promise that you are with us. And in the end, the battle is yours. We humbly submit ourselves to your will. We surrender ourselves. We've heard our marching orders. We want to stay humble and live our lives according to your plan and your purpose. Please guide us by your Holy Spirit and help us every day. Amen.